Hello, my name is Richard. I go by Ultra by Rich, and this is Ultra by Rich Meta Ads. In this session, we're going to be talking about how to create and install the Meta Pixel. You're going to want to visit business.facebook.com in your browser and then log in with your Facebook business account. Once you're there, you're going to want to go over to the events manager and the direct URL for that is business.facebook.com slash events underscore manager two, the number two. Anyways, that'll bring you back to the event manager page, which we're at right now. Once you're here, you're going to want to go over to connect data sources. From here, it'll prompt you what you're connecting. Since we're connecting a Facebook meta pixel, it's going to be a website. So we're going to select web and we're going to hit connect. We're going to name the data set. We recommend you just put your domain name here. This is a domain name we're having some tests on pink shirt marketing and hit create. Once you've created it, it'll then ask you to set up a conversion API. Now, if you have Shopify or a different e-commerce or even like Webflow where it's a CMS, this is where you can actually set that up and they have direct integrations. Since we don't have that, we're going to actually do the setup megapixel. Now, real quick, I wanted to mention to you our done for you Facebook ads. There's a link in the description for a free one on one session where we actually go through your business and talk about how we can optimize and build out your campaigns. It's free to do. Definitely recommend it. Let's get back to it. And this is where it's going to ask you to install the code manually. So you hit that first option. It's going to have you copy this code into your website. Okay. So after you copy it, you want to make sure you can put it above the header closing tag. And then once you do that, you're going to want to turn on automatic advanced matching. This is the audience basically advertising network, getting smart with your data. Definitely want this on and make sure everything is checked by default. Hit continue. Here's where you can actually do a test event. Since we're just copying and pasting the code in, we're going to move forward, have a different video that talks about how to test the event. Once it's installed, take a look at that great video clip. And then once it's installed, you basically go copy and paste that into your header. And then when you come back, this will start populating data over the next 24 to 48 business hours. Sometimes it could take longer. Sometimes it's within 12 hours. So just be patient with it. As long as you copy and pasted that code into the head section of your website, it's going to work fine. Thank you for watching this clip. If you enjoyed this content, please leave a comment, drop a like, and make sure you subscribe.